All right, boys. Pro course time, I think. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Will I be able to step on the hallowed lands of, well, I should say forbidden lands of, of sorts? I don't know. Well, yeah, he basically forbid forbid himself from walking over here. But can I do it now, or will I play my Game Boy? Yes. I guess I'll, I'll guess I'll try it. Oh, I can do it! I can do it! Blue Moon Dunes. I'm gonna first, take a peek. See here. Enter. Is this another disc golf course? Uh, I guess I should try it. <laughs> Why not? It might just be leading me into. So, hello. Might be leading me into an item that I need to progress. I can dig. I just noticed that appear at the bottom of the screen there. Wait, actually, maybe I should have talked to her first. She was probably gonna be like, "You need to find something that I lost." So I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> Hello there! Have you come for a test flight? Test flight? Yeah, we're gonna be throwing discs, aren't we? A what? I could tell you stories of faraway places you'd never believe. Places where that. Do you care to experience the magic of drone flight? <laughs> drone flight for yourself? And you kind of cut yourself off there. It sounds like something I need to be involved in. I hope I haven't hyped it up too much. <laughs> Very well! We'll start you in the easy zone. Think of it like playing golf. You just have to get the ball to the hole. Who would have guessed? Yes, it's just like golf. Only if your golf club was an unwieldy flying machine. Yeah, just like this golf. Suppose I should tell you how to fly it. Just hold down B to fly up into the air. Okay. Press R to drop a ball. <laughs> drop a ball. Okay. The yeah, drone is easily manipulated by the wind, so you'll have to fight it. Get the hang of it. After delivering the ball, you have to land the drone carefully. If you land too fast, it'll blow up. Oh, jeez. We might be paying out the wazoo here. Let's see how you go. Tell me when you're ready to experience the miracle of drone flight. Okay, so I guess she wasn't looking for anything in specific over here. So let's open this up and see what we get. $78.87. Maybe I should be looking around for more digging spots. Just because. I'm glad I seen that pop up at the bottom of the screen. Same with the catcher's legendary treasure, which I have no idea what to do with. Unless that's oh, that's the end of it. We're gonna drop and stuff in the bunker? I don't know. Why would you why would there be a bunker? Well maybe that's not a bunker, maybe it's just bare ground. Alright, let's try. Have you experienced the miracle drone flight? No yeah. I say yes. <laughs> Wouldn't let me re-talk to her. Alright, so press the B button to fly, R button to drop. Oh! That, did I land too carefully? I <laughs> I failed so quickly, I'm not sure how, how I failed. Okay, let's try it again here. Uh, just try here. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, I fish. Or do I literally... Oh! <laughs> that didn't happen last time! So... <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe I was supposed to blow up when I did that before. Alright, so I got a ball in there, but it apparently didn't count. So, what do I do to land? Like, just ran gently touch the B button? Uh... 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 What am I doing? Am I, am I supposed to just, like... Am I literally just dropping balls in the holes first before landing, or...? Ooh. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 so, okay, I understand it now. So you don't drop the balls in the circle, you drop it in the hole, and then you go back to the circle. <laughs> That's counterintuitive compared to what we've learned through the whole journey, but whatever. I'm ready to take it out further. Alright, that was a lot of moolah, even though I blew up one of your drones, and I'm not sure of the state of the first one. I think it was okay, it's just that I landed early. Ready to experience a miracle drone flight? Yeah. Alright, so I guess this is the medium course of sorts. So what do I get? Drop balls in the hole and then come back to that circle or something? Before I finish? Oh, 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 okay. So, uh, what exactly am I ooh, am I looking for on the lands and whatnot? Am I, am I just going like way out and I should not be this far out? Probably. Well, that's where I started. Uh, okay. I 
Gonna watch the wind for dropping balls in the hole. So yeah, I definitely went way too far out, but at least there's no timer, so I, I can mess around as much as I please. At least for now, I bet there is gonna be a timer in the future <laughs> for extra challenge, but we'll see. Just drop on everything! Drop all of your inventory! It doesn't matter as long, as long as something goes in, I guess. Okay. So now I go to this, right? Right? And I gently, gently, I mash the B button. Ah! <laughs> I said gently. You, you really gotta be gentle. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, so at least I know where the holes are now, so I can pretty much get through it pretty rapidly. I can't like fling the balls when I'm <laughs> when I'm in movement. Like you think if you're just pressing the R button when you're like yeah, it, it would make the balls automatically go and like with your movement, but nope, nope, no, nope, just automatically drop. Okay, go. There we go. Just automatically drops it straight down. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, that doesn't count. It hit another ball in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got one out of all those balls we dropped there. Just bomb them! Bomb them! Everything must explode on this place! Bomb them all! Yes! Okay, so now about the land. <laughs> Okay, I'm scared. I'm very scared. So scared! Okay! <laughs> the landing is the most difficult part, I guess. A smooth flight. Fine, I'll let you explore the most distant land. So this is probably where it's gonna be extra challenging. <laughs> Should I press B again? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> She's not giving me anything. Okay, so I see the end point there. Alright, 12 mile per hour wind! Uh, oh! I did not land, I swear! <laughs> I guess I went outside the border that I was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, so I guess don't go that far that way. <laughs> mm, just never know when you're gonna explode, I guess. Or maybe I'm maybe I just explode when I hit hit something. Maybe I hit a tree or something that was in the clouds. I just never seen it before. Like, let's test that. Uh, no, I just go right through the trees, okay. Eee. The wind isn't that real hard to fight, really. It's more about dropping the ball at the right point. Because, uh, like, if you're just holding the B button, then you're never gonna drop on the ground or anything like that. It's just gonna be n not really much of an issue in that regard. So the main dropping thing is just, <laughs> just whenever you get to the hole, or I should say find the hole, and yep. And there I am, controlling the drone. Wait, actually, at least it looks like I am not controlling the drone because that's the same sprite like I was playing the Game Boy or, or handheld game system. Mysterious. Mysterious. Unless it is a multi-use system. I got like some sort of downloadable app and it contains the configurations to sync up to the drone, and... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I got eight. Here's the... Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna know which is the last hole if I don't, uh... If I don't get this landing properly, because there's remain... Because there's gonna be balls around every hole the next time I attempt this! Oh, okay! I think I landed that a little bit too quickly, but somehow it didn't blow up. I don't know what caused it to blow up, but... I did it! Wow! That was intense! I've not even flown out that far. What's it like out there? No! Don't tell me. I want to find out for myself someday. Maybe once I get enough practice like you, I can do it. Woo! So is that like the last... Uh, last quest then? Because she hasn't seen any further lands. Level up though! Um... Yeah, I guess I'll do that stuff. Okay, we're good. Any more? Any more? One day I will fly this drone to the moon. I don't know how you're gonna get lift in outer space. There's no air to go underneath the, the propeller blades, but but details. So now I guess we can head on material for the blacksmith. No, no. <laughs> I just I just seen the same thing from the freezing portions of the world. So I thought, eh, eh. 
Okay, Blue Moon Dunes. So yeah, this is indeed the next place we go to. Let's go in. Plenty of time left in the park for a side quest or, or two, I think. <gasps> oh, gruesome one some over there. <laughs> oh, everyone's here. Whoa, holy poopers. Holy poopers. Wait, where, didn't I just see you guys over at the disc place? The Cheeky Beak Peak? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Maybe these are all twins. Come on, there'll be time to look at the course later. I'm intimidated. I can't move. Are all the, the, the people professionals? No! Pink is here. I mean, Pink is very good. Some representatives from other courses have come to check out the tournament. Speaking of which, you still need to qualify. You need to achieve match play victories on eight courses. I, uh... I think I did most of those already. Because I did... In fact, come to think of it, if that's the whole thing, like, with the... Uh, remember at Tidy Park when I did that match last part and I thought I was just a side quest? Maybe that's a part of the main quest, because I, I don't think I... I did a match on that course. It was I think it was all tournament and stroke play. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, then bring the cards to the course owner in his office. Okie dokie. I see. Laura, would you like to have a few games of match play? No! She'll be like, I'm not just going to let you in if that's what you think. However, that spooky course near Tidy Park seems kind of cool. Let's play around there. I don't, oh yeah, I haven't played a match there either. I only played that one round to uh, sign the scorecard with the ghost's name. That place is scary enough during the day. And malevolent spirits might be out to get me. Where do you come up with these insane tales? Okay, there's a wizard! I know there's a wizard! <laughs> I know the only thing you're scared of is losing to me. Come find me after this event. Or maybe you'd rather challenge some ghosts. Oh, the ghosts can't play golf anymore. So I had to... Oh, oh you're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. I've also arranged a match between my son and yourself. Ooh. But where? <laughs> it surely couldn't be this course. Just like being thrown out in the blue. Get it, blue moon dunes. Come find me. Oh. Am I supposed to use that background as an indicator? Because this sure looks like the place that matches the tile sets that I'm already here. Uh... No, that... Oh, what the, no, 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 you said you were going to be at... Spooky Place. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, I guess we should look around. You're that guy that cheated his way into me... No! I played like a pro. You can't tell me otherwise. I have video proof. Oh, there's going to be disc golf here. That's going to be awesome. Or not. It's just... I could get my disc stuck in a tree for all eternity. Uh, hello. If you want to score well here, you have to take risks. Long shots to tight fairies surrounded by water show up often. Want to practice some tough shots? I mean, yes. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, oh, I got my wedges here. Oh, I, I, I can't change my power, that's right. So I'm still kind of stuck using my 9-iron in this place. I was going to say, my overpowered wedges are going to take me to victory on shots like that, but no. Okay, so now we're into epic music town, landing balls in a circle, just like we've done the whole game. Heck yeah! Oh, the wind changed. Oh, now I can actually use my wedge for maximum stopping power, because remember the wind is going to push me past the... Oh, she is still here. Oh, so I guess I don't have to look for her over at Spooky Town. We got some yodels going on here! This truly is, like, epic endgame, probably. Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Just gotta get... I don't, I don't want to go in the water, basically. <clears throat> anyway... Fly ball, fly! And I'm not... Yeah, I'm not sure the angle, because... Okay. It was, it's, it's like a crosswind, and I'm hitting into an angled fairway, and that's why I was kind of confused about that shot. Wait, no, no, not on the 9 iron, there we go. I should probably just plop it on over on that side of the circle rather than try and thread the needle, in all honesty. I mean, that seems a little bit difficult to stop it between the, uh, the water of death. Oh! Well, that's not what I was going for, but will I get another shot at that? No, I will not. 
<laughs> it landed on the bridge, or at least somewhere around the bridge. Really? You, oh, you got a rainbow boombox. You have upgraded. <laughs> Did it? Was it like that before? I didn't notice. I don't know. Maybe. No, I mean, I know it wasn't like that before, but I mean, during that cutscene. Mm, I'll try that and see if it it's like, just like trickles on down in front of the bridge where the circle is and not actually on the bridge. Oh! Okay, it'll stop. I, I was a little worried there. I just keep rolling on and then we go in the water, but no, we're good. Uh, well, I see those two are together as usual. Probably courtesy of Coach himself. Um think I don't want to do the thing where I bounce it across rather than uh, try and land it across on the fly remember because I had trouble keeping it from going all willy-nilly into the water back at the Bermuda Isles side quest and uh, oh I tried my best I have no regrets I only need one more in this circle though so I, I figure something I'll be able to get something in the circle by the end of it, because I got so many in the row to begin with. This should be fine, though. There's a lot of stuff to run my ball through. And the wind is directly in my face, so no unpredictable crosswind. So we win! And I can even use my ultimate wedges to finish the job, I guess. Unless it rolls out, but I don't think it's going to roll out that much. Because they are- Ah, oh, they rolled out that much! <laughs> I still won. I was gonna say, because the, the ultimate wedges, they should not roll out that much. Look at my divot pattern. It's like a fan. You know, those fans that you use to cool yourself, that you wave at yourself, taking risks could get you everywhere in a golf. Woo! It is a risk reward game in some cases. So, well, there's a lot to explore here, and uh, Probably chances are a good idea to end the part here as a result so I don't get sucked into side quest after side quest. Especially if I uh, decide to play a match with Pink over there at Spooky Dookie Place. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part when I play a match probably with Pink.